Closet Tour. Do you want to join me, my girl? Hi, everybody. Thank you for watching. So today I am standing in my closet. So I know this video has been requested ever since I moved in almost two and a half years ago. And it wasn't that I didn't want to film it, it's just I still never really finished it. And as some of you guys know, I... Oh, I don't trust him up there with the candle. Hey! So it's not that I didn't want to film this video, it's just I never really finished it and now I am getting ready to move, so go figure, but I figured I would show it to you guys before I move. And if you guys want to see like a little house tour or something like that, I can definitely do that for you guys even though I am moving, um, just to give you maybe some decorating advice and all of that. So before I give you the tour of this crazy closet of mine, I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory for those of you guys maybe that are new or that don't know me. I moved into this house uh, December of 2015, about two and a half years ago, and when I found this house, I instantly fell in love. At the time, I thought it would be my forever home. So there was a lot of aspects of this house that I saw myself growing into, and I just fell in love with every little bit of it. And I really did so much to this house to really make it my own. So as sad as I am leaving it, I am looking forward to the new chapter in my life. I'm excited for my new place that I'm moving into. I'm going to make it just as beautiful, but it's going to be a little bit of a mini version because it's just going to be all me. So when I was looking for houses, probably around three years ago, I started looking. There was a lot of things that I knew that I wanted in a house, and I was kind of back and forth between building one from scratch um, or just kind of finding one and then making it my own. When I first came into this house, like I instantly knew it was going to be mine. Once I saw the master wing of this house, I was like, okay, someone built this house and they built it for me. So when you see my closet, understand that this is all a part of the master wing. So I have my master bedroom, I have my master bath, and then I have the entrance to my closet. So when I first moved in, this area right here was their master closet. They had It was all carpeted and they had like these brown units. I don't even think it was real wood in here. And then... My shoe closet, as you guys can kind of see right now, which again, you'll see it all in a minute. It was just like a little doorway, and then they had my shoe closet was actually like an office. So it was like a hidden office up in the master wing. And then the other section of my closet, they had as just like an empty sitting room with like a couch, and it was completely empty. So when I walked in here, the first thing that I said was, okay, obviously this is like three closets in one, and you can't make any of these a bedroom because they're all attached to the master wing and there's no access to get to the rest of the house, so it didn't really make sense to be anything other than three big closets. So I knocked down the doors, I added big entryways, that way it's all kind of like one. So yes, my closet is huge, but I saw it as an opportunity to make the closet of my dreams, and I know one day when I build my new home, I will have something probably similar. So obviously it's excessive, it's huge, I have so many clothes, but this is my sanctuary, and I just love like being in here and just being like, ah. So I got to design this closet from top to bottom, so every little detail means a lot to me, and I'm excited to share it with you guys. I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to be like, oh my god, aren't you so sad leaving it? Honestly, no, I'm not sad leaving it. Obviously, it's beautiful, and I worked really hard to get here, but I'm also really excited for the new chapter in my life. And a closet can be built anywhere, so remember that. Materialistic things, although they are fun, and it's fun to be a part of, materialistic things do not define who you are. So although I do have a lot of stuff, there are way more important things in life than clothes and shoes and jewelry and all of that. So with all of that said, let's get into the closet tour.
color code everything as best as possible on this side it's a little bit of a shorter unit because the way that my ceiling comes down you can see like right here on this side I have all of my pants and up here I have all of my bodysuits and also tank tops without sleeves and then right below that I have crop tops just like simple basic types of tops so on the top section I have all my long sleeve tops that are more of the pastel colors and then down below I have my darker colors which then we're gonna move on to the darker side of my closet so again over here same thing we have my pants all hanging hanging there and then I have um, bodysuits and sleeveless shirts right here and then below it I have my crop shirts as well and then I had these little pointy toed shoes in a lot of the colors that the shirts were so I thought it looked nice to just have them kind of spread out right there this unit goes all the way up to the ceiling as you guys can see so on this side I have all my jackets I have the black at the bottom and the colored ones on top I don't know if you guys can see but like it's tiered so like here and here this one goes up a little bit higher and the middle one goes up a little bit higher as well so underneath the jackets over here I have dresses um, t-shirt dresses rompers anything that's a little bit longer that wouldn't have fit above where the jackets are in the middle section I have some sweatshirts um, and then we're moving on to the white items and then over here I have again jackets I have below it some rompers t-shirt dresses dresses all kind of mixed in in color order and on this side I have jackets and my jean jackets all over here as well so that is this side of the closet and then my shoe closet was just like a little door so I had that opened up that way it all became one closet look we have little Cindy Cindy what are you doing my girl oh I didn't turn my shoe closet on this right here actually pulls out and it's an ironing board so if I need to iron anything, that's a cool little feature that we added in. So that just slides right away, and then you could shut that up, and it looks like a regular drawer. So this is my shoe closet. You guys saw it from my video where I organized everything. So now moving on to my other part of the closet. So again, this right here, it was another doorway with an actual door. I had it opened up because it was just unused space. And honestly, I don't know what else they would have used this room for. That's why I felt when I moved here that this closet was like made for me because I have a lot of stuff if you guys can't tell already so now this is the other part of my closet this whole unit right here it's all drawers so I have bathing suits I have sweatpants I have um, matching separates like leggings I have a bunch of stuff in those drawers but I'm the type of girl that likes to hang everything so some of the drawers aren't even completely full I feel like if I don't see it I'll never wear it which I mean am I ever really gonna wear everything anyway no probably not and then over here I have some more hanging I have the lights to the darks again that's kind of the vibe I tried sticking with so I have all my skirts shorts like nice shorts I have jean shorts just in a drawer but I have all of that there then I have my crop tops and then I have the darker skirts shorts all of that viewing this from another angle I have these little purse racks over here I have my really long hanging in those mirrored closets right here so then viewing it from this other side I have my little sitting area with Bowie's little tush on there so over here I have like some jeans and all that hanging this red jumpsuit is literally life so I had to keep it out on display so it's super funny because when I built this like here I'll show you guys like look how short I can't even see into this mirror if I wanted to like <laughs> Hello. I was like, okay, well, I guess I will never be using that mirror, which is fine. I don't need another mirror. I also have out on display my little 100,000 subscribers from YouTube. How cute. I love it. But yeah, here I just have my jewelry, like my favorite gold necklaces, silver necklaces hanging. And then over here I have some sneakers. Sorry, I have like wires hanging out of my ass. So in here, um, it's kind of... They're all on different hangers. I have these shelves up here where I keep my luggage and then just long hanging. So basically anything that's super, super long fits in there really nicely. Cindy, we don't want you to get stuck. I swear, every time I open this, I have to make sure none of the cats are in there because I love to just like jump in there and like play around. And it's like my biggest fear is like locking them in an area of my closet. <laughs> Where she loves the closet more than me. Every time I'm in here, she's like following me around. You trying on all my clothes without me looking? Is that what you do when mommy's not home? So I hope you guys enjoyed this little preview to my 
crazy closet. To be honest, I am not looking forward to packing all of this up and starting over, but I wanted to share it with you guys before I move because I know a lot of you were requesting it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want a house tour before I move out, I can do that for you guys as well. I wasn't really comfortable doing it while I was living here because of privacy reasons. I have had people show up at my house multiple times and it's just really uncomfortable, so I wanted to kind of keep it private. But now that I am moving, I don't mind showing it to you guys, showing some of the rooms that I decorated. I really didn't ever finish this house. Um, I knew I was going to be moving for probably about a year, so I kind of stopped. So I kind of just like did as much as I could and then I really kind of gave up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys later.